Um, our, next, uh, our next presentation is going to be uh, by, for Biosigner by Ard. Now, I'm just going to quickly go to... Going to quickly go to the presentation. Just to give you a bit of an introduction, Biosigner uh, develops very low cost, high quality uh, monoclonal antibody biosimilars off patent MABs for third parties with a strong focus on Europe and the Asia Pacific, thanks to a new standard of MAB manufacturing process and the use of alternative strategies to perform and, and finance clinical trials. Biosigner can develop MAB biosimilars at one third of the price of its competitors. Please welcome Art to the stage. Okay, thanks Steve uh, for the opportunity to, uh, uh, to talk about uh, uh, my next uh, uh, venture. I've done a few in the past and this is one from, uh, from scratch. Uh, I have to um, uh, ask your forgiving for my accent. I've been in Europe for 35 years. That's really my uh, Australian accent. Uh, so, yeah, but uh, okay, I hope you understand me. Uh, what's Biosana all, uh, all about? Biosana is a new kit on the block. We incorporated only a few weeks ago. Um, we are going to develop low-cost, high-quality monoclonal antibody biosimilars, and we're going to do that for third parties. So not for ourselves, but for third parties. And we'll have a focus on uh, Europe and the Asia Pacific. And why those two? That's because 50% of the market is there, and we have a clear connection to it. Uh, just for the understanding what MAP biosimilars are, monoclonal antibody biosimilars, these are off-patent uh, biologicals. So um, you're talking about uh, products that have been on the market for quite a while and uh, are coming uh, off-patent, are coming uh, five to ten years. And uh, that's a group of products that are, um, let's see, very established. I'll come back to that in a minute. But just for, for those that don't know what monoclonal antibodies do, they're the soldiers of your immune system, clean up uh, all kinds of uh, cancer cells and uh, things that are very bad for your body. What are you looking for? We're looking for two and a half million uh, for the development uh, phase, and we're looking for 10.2 million for the phase after that, and spread over two years. We'll come back to that a little bit uh, in a minute. So we're not gonna do research, we're gonna jump into the development from day one. Just give a bit of a feel on uh, the volume of these uh, products that we're going to try to replace. Here you see the top 10 monoclonal antibodies. Um, uh, these are big companies that uh, we're looking at, and these are for basically oncology, uh, uh, in the oncology area and for the uh, inflammatory uh, disease area. And if you look at the right column, there you see the, um, uh, the numbers. These are not millions, these are billions. So these products are, have an enormous uh, market volume and you can understand that uh, when they come off patent that there's an enormous opportunity for, uh, for biosimilars or biogenerics or how you want to call them. There are, of course, uh, uh, that's not a great discovery. There are more people uh, that know that these products are coming off patent. Uh, there are quite a number of players that uh, are active in the market. And uh, these players are um, uh, planning to develop uh, uh, with copycats the monoclonal antibody biosimilars, and they predict it'll cost uh, about 100 million or more. Um, that means that they'll get at a price level uh, of the originator of about 70 to 80 percent. This is a uh, very, very known uh, information. Uh, that gives a, a dilemma because the uh, we're confronted with a change in, uh, in the world of uh, uh, population is going, uh, is, is aging. We have a fast growing middle class in the emerging countries and the healthcare costs for most governments is almost uncontrollable. So this is the area that we want to uh, uh, offer a solution. How does uh, um, Biosana approach uh, this, uh, this problem? We have uh, two legs uh, of innovation. One is via uh, the creation of a new process to make uh, antibodies, so we'll be uh, combining a, a number of technologies. I won't go into the science of that. I was told that that's not appreciated in this kind of, uh, uh, with uh, people, uh, uh, with a group like this. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a combination of uh, two technologies, high cell density uh, cell culturing and uh, uh, chromatography that's done 
in a countercurrent, uh, multi cycle way. The, the technology, the countercurrent technology, I've been very much involved with in the past. The high cell density technology is actually technology that's coming to Brisbane. Uh, DSM Biologics is a uh, CMO that's going to open shop in 2013 here in Brisbane. And uh, the production of these new products, uh, if we uh, go uh, with DSM Biologics, it will also be, uh, be done in Brisbane. The second leg uh, is uh, uh, alternative strategies for clinical trials. And uh, uh, that's in how you do them and that's in how you need finance them. Okay, all this costs a lot of money, uh, but it costs a lot less than the competitors. We, um, uh, we are more than convinced that we can uh, produce at one third of the price of our competitors. That means about 34 million versus 100 million plus of our competitors. And uh, this makes a pricing level towards the patient uh, of uh, below 50% possible. You must realize a, uh, a drug like like Remicade or like Vera or Herceptin, we're talking about fifty to hundred thousand dollars per year that a patient has to pay uh, for those drugs. And um, if you can get the price down below the fifty percent, then you have the generic model uh, that you're uh, you're going for. Um, I can get a sign that I have to hurry up. Uh, what's the team? The team's. Uh, uh, I'm the CEO. Uh, I have a broad background in drug development. Uh, I've set up a consultancy in the past. Uh, we started with two people, ended up with 250. Um, I left that uh, business because of my relocation to Australia half a year ago. And uh, now the, uh, the process uh, Biosena, what it is, is uh, a sort of a uh, evolution of thoughts and experience coming together. I also have uh, a CFO. I can't disclose the names now because they're connected to other companies still. <coughs> Uh, and a COO, they're both very experienced uh, players in the field, uh, one in finance and the other in uh, CMC, clinical design and uh, clinical trial management. Um, these are a list of the partners we'll be using. It's a complex process to develop a, uh, a monoclonal antibody. You can't do that alone. You need partners that you can rely on. Uh, these are the list that we're gonna go with. Uh, there you see DSM Biologics and the part that's uh, going to be done in Australia. Uh, Xendo is uh, the part that I've managed for many years in the past. And uh, okay, I won't go into that anymore. A snapshot, it takes about four years to develop a monoclonal antibody biosimilar. So it's not a fast game to play, but uh, it'll be a very uh, uh, a cost effective uh, game to play if it's uh, done in the right way. Um, our business model. Um, I won't go into that in detail because we don't have enough time, but it's very much based on the generics business model. Bring a product when, uh, onto the market when the other comes off patent and make sure the pricing is below 50% of that uh, of the originator. Um, this tells more about uh, our client approach. We'll be doing it as a service, so we'll have two clients for monoclonal antibody. That means the price goes down per client and probably be about 10 to 25 million per client depending on the drug. Um, the, the risks for phase three, which is the, the expensive phase, will be for the client uh, himself, but we will manage that and uh, we will, of course, in close collaboration with the client, will be performing those activities. The total cost of a MAP uh, 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 biosimilar is 38 million. Uh, that's uh, compared to the 100 million in the, uh, of our competitors. Okay, uh, this is the financial model, I won't go into it. Only this, break even in 2015, 50% uh, profit margin in uh, after 2015 uh, when, you, uh, when you go into the years after. The competition, big names, uh, alliances, uh, uh, the competition from uh, non-Asian companies, uh, those are uh, companies that have high cost of development. The Asian companies, have high have lower cost of development but a much lower quality so we're going to go exactly in the middle of those two what do you get for your money the first two and a half million that's for the development phase the 10.2 million is for manufacturing and clinical up until phase one and the phase three is for our uh, uh, for our clients that uh, and the rest i've already uh, mentioned uh, the exit we, uh, there are a number of options in the, in the future. We can go as an independent company. 
Uh, we can do an IPO in 2016 or go for trade sale. Uh, but anyway, it'll be a large return of investment the way we uh, set things up. And we welcome investors to join us in this uh, journey, uh, which is going to be a very interesting one and uh, hopefully very good for patients and also good for the business process. Thank you.